Jesus plumbed the depths of our own human experience, feeling God forsaken on the cross, crucified dead and buried, and his friends were distraught, all had gone wrong. And then on the third day, the women came to the tomb and they found it empty. And they had a message to share with the disciples who scarce could believe it. And the two ran to the tomb and they looked in and they heard that Christ was risen, risen indeed. And then Mary Magdalene stayed in the garden weeping. And then she saw a figure coming through the garden she took to be the gardener. Why are you weeping? he asked. And she simply said to him that they had taken her master's body away and they did not, she did not know where it had been taken. And then it was that he looked at her in the eye and said, Mary, Rabboni, she said, which means master. And she was to throw herself at his feet, but he said, no, don't touch me. Go and tell the others that I am risen and going ahead of them to Galilee. And they knew that he was risen. He was risen indeed. At the heart of our Christian faith is the reality that God is with us as we plumb the depths of despair. God is with us in Christ Jesus as we feel as if he's far away and God forsaken. God is with us through to that victory which we too may share in Jesus Christ our Lord, a victory of resurrection such that we can echo the words of Paul and say, I am certain that there is nothing in the present or in the future, no height, no depth, nothing in life or death, no angels, no principalities, no powers that can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Nothing in the whole of creation that can separate us from that wonderful love that God has for each one of us in Christ Jesus, our Lord and our Saviour. May we take with us from this place that resurrection hope and may it be a hope to sustain us in our faith and in the love that we share with each other and with the world around.